Good morning, everyone. Hope it's a beautiful day to start a learning. Chandani Views welcomes you all for the online class. And let's start our section with word of the day. And today's word is advantage. And the definition for advantage is something very useful. So whenever you can, you know, use this word advantage, use as much as possible because that's going to, you know, stay in your memory for a very, for a very long amount of time. Okay. So try to use all these new words as, you know, um, as many times as you can. Okay, and today's word, as I said, is advantage. And you can, you know, whenever you find something very useful, you can term it as advantage. For an example, you can say that um, Rita has a very long leg and it is an added advantage for her in sports, right? So with this, we can start our today's session. This is for class one. Subject English, lesson number six. Topic My Tree. So, before getting into the lesson, let's talk a few minutes about the tree. So, who doesn't like trees? You know, I personally, I like a lot of, you know, greenish places because, you know, it's very soothing for the eye, right? And, you know, you should always support in saving trees, okay? Without getting selfish, you know, you have to preserve the land and the tree for the next generation, which is the kind of attitude that is lacking in today's world. So. You know, without any further ado, we can get into the topic. Hi, children. How are you all? Hope you are all fine with a good health. Do you know my name? Yes, you're correct. My name is Cree. And the spelling for tree is? Yes, that's correct. C R E E tree. Have you ever seen me anywhere? Yes, you are correct. You must have seen me in Chandini View's school garden. Yes, right? And do you know why I have come here? I have come here to tell you about myself. I will tell you about my childhood like a poem. Are you ready to hear children? Come, let's see. My tree. Here you can see a very beautiful zooming, uh, you know, picture here and you can see a tiny girl watering the plants and you can see a lot of trees, you can see a bridge, you can see a river, you can see strawberries, you can mushroom. It's a very beautiful kind of land to live on, right? Yes, you can see how, you know, beautiful it is. It is very nature oriented without any pollution or without any traffic. You can see the beauty of the nature here. I am a little girl, so I planted a little tree that reached only up to my knee. It has green leaves and short stems. But it will grow to be a big old tree as tall as a giraffe. And I too will grow up to be a big old me. And now you can repeat it after me. I am a little girl, so I planted a little tree that reached only up to my knee. It has green leaves and short stems, but it will grow to be a big old tree as tall as a giraffe. And I too will grow up to be a big old me. 
right? Here, a very tiny girl is, you know, telling us that she has planted a little tree that is a plant and she is telling us that it has only reached her knee. But she says that it has green leaves and short stems. But, you know, one day she tells us that it will grow as a big tea, a tree as tall as a giraffe. And she also tells that uh, she will also, you know, become a grown up and to be a big old me. Right? Now let's see the poem line by line briefly. I am a little girl. So I planted a little tree. Here, the author here is telling that she is a very little girl and, you know, she also planted a little tree. And what is the spelling for planted? Yes, that's correct. P-L-A-N-T-E-D, planted. Right here, the tiny girl has also planted a tiny tree. I reached only up to my knee. And here she says that the this tiny tree she planted it reaches only till her knee. And what is the spelling for knee? K N E E knee. Right? It has green leaves and short stems. The tiny tree which is up to her knee, you know, it has a lot of green leaves and short stems, right? You can see the brown uh, stem and the greeny leaf here, right? And she's telling that the tiny uh, tree that she planted is only till her knee. And she also tells us that it has green leaves and short stems. So what is the spelling for green? G-R-E-E-N, green. And what is the spelling for short? S-H-O-R-T, short. But it will grow to be a big old tree as tall as a giraffe. So what is uh, she trying to tell here? So here she's trying to tell that the big old tree, you know, it will become a big old tree and it can also be as tall as a giraffe. So she here she is, you know, trying to compare the tiny, uh, you know, the little tree to that of the height of the giraffe she is telling that now it is a very small tree and it is only till many but one day but one day it will grow as a big old tree and it would even be as tall as a giraffe and what is the spelling for giraffe here g-i-r-a-f-f-e giraffe okay and I too will grow up to be a big old me. And here she's also telling us that even she will grow up one day and she will become a big hold of her. She will get aged is what she is meaning by big old me. Like the tree. Okay. Here you can see that the little girl is comparing. Uh, you know, at first she is comparing the... Um, the little tree to that of her knee and then she also tells us the features of the tree that is the tree as green leaves and stems and she's also telling us that one day the tree will become a big old tree and it would be as tall as a giraffe and then she is comparing her growth with the tree and she also tells us that she is going to be a big old lady as well with the growth of the tree right have you enjoyed the poem children let's see the poem together again read along with me my tree i am a little girl i am a little girl so I planted a little tree. So I planted a little tree that reached only, that reached only up to my knee, up to my knee. It has green leaves. It has green leaves and short stems and short stems. But 
but it will grow it will grow to be a big old tree to be a big old tree as long as a as long as a giraffe giraffe and i too will grow up and i too will grow up to be a big old me to be a big old me so do you have any doubts children hope you understood okay children bye take care see you in the next class thank you